We are in the endocrinology video series. The previous videos are linked in the description. And here we are going to explain the thyroid gland, its anatomy, histology and physiology. We know its endocrine gland that secretes three important hormones. T3 that's triiodothyronine, T4 that's thyroxine and calcitonin. We see the hypothalamus releases TRH that's thyrotropin releasing hormone. It stimulates anterior pituitary which secretes the TSH that's thyroid stimulating hormone. Then this TSH targets the thyroid gland and it stimulates the release of thyroid hormone like T3, T4 and calcitonin. Here in this diagram we have the thyroid gland showing right and left lobe with isthmus in the center. And on the left we can see the thyroid cartilage and the trachea. This thyroid gland is present on the trachea as shown in the diagram. So the gland location is lower front of the neck which extends from oblique line of thyroid cartilage to the fifth or sixth tracheal ring and it lies against the cervical spine at C5, C6, C7 and at thoracic spine that's at T1. And now getting to its blood supply. As we see in the diagram it has got superior and inferior thyroid arteries and got superior middle and inferior veins. Moving further towards the histology of thyroid gland. Here we see in the diagram this is the colloid in the center and it's surrounded by follicular epithelial cells or simply thyrocytes. This makes us the follicle and there are a lot of follicles in the tissue and on the side of follicles we have the parafollicular cells shown in the diagram. It secretes calcitonin hormone whereas follicular cells secretes T3 and T4 hormone. So we have two types of cells in this gland, follicular cells and parafollicular cells. The follicular cells makes us the thyroglobin molecule which is then converted into T3 and T4. And these two hormones have got diverse functions. On the other hand the parafollicular cells secretes calcitonin that regulates blood calcium levels. In detail we see T3 and T4 hormone mainly regulates the metabolism of the body. The primary effect of T3 and T4 hormones is to increase one's BMR that's basal metabolic rate. As a result, it raises oxygen consumption and has a calorigenic effect. That's it increases heat production. And we see here to ensure an adequate blood and oxygen supply to meet this increase in metabolic demand. Thyroid hormone also raises the respiratory rate, heart rate, it stimulates the appetite and accelerates the breakdown of carbohydrates, fats and proteins for fuel. Thyroid hormone also promotes growth of bone, skin, hair, nails and teeth and development of fetal nervous system. So basically it's involved in all metabolic processes. On the other hand calcitonin released by the parafollicular cells or thyrocytes decreases the calcium blood levels. It antagonizes parathyroid hormone and stimulates osteoblast activity thus promoting calcium deposition and bone formation. And it should be noted here, it's important mainly in the children's, having relatively little effect in adults. So this is the thyroid hormone, its anatomy, physiology and its hormones. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up to consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.